Machine, please. <laughs> Is this on? This ain't working now? Just kidding. This should be working? Yes. Is it on? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I'm not supposed to be jockeying right now, but uh, since the bike didn't work, I guess I will. Uh, this is Michael. We're going to have some testimonies today. I hope you guys are enjoying the service. I'm, I'm very excited that the teenagers are doing this. So I will go away now. I'm the, pa I'm the pastor here, by the way. <laughs> and I'm going to turn it over to you. He's going to share his testimony. I'm all nervous right now. I got like the butterfly thing. Okay. Good morning. In case you don't know me, I'm Michael, and I'm part of the youth group here at LABC. My grandparents brought me up in Christianity, my grandma in particular. She picked me up every Sunday, took me to church, and brought me home. But one day, for some reason, my grandpa, he decided to take me home. And after dropping off my cousin, he asked me if I wanted to accept God as my savior and father. And I said yes. So we parked under a shady tree, we talked, and prayed. That was the first time I actually felt the presence of God. The only problem of going to church was I was forced, and it pushed me away from church. I dreaded every Sunday because I was dragged to church. It wasn't any fun for me. Plus, I only knew a couple of people. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and that drew me away even more. When I got older, I was allowed to choose if I wanted to go to church or not, and I took advantage of that. I didn't go to church for a long time, and I had no spiritual influence whatsoever. Because of that, in high school, I ditched my class, I failed some, and I would get in trouble for my attitude towards teachers. I was also getting in trouble outside of school. Those mistakes really ended up hurting me later on. Everyone said it would, but I didn't believe them. And unfortunately, they were right. So I had to go to summer school with Katie and Corey. Katie and Corey's like, oh, no. <laughs> I had to start catching up on my classes that I failed. Within the first week, Corey met Jessica and introduced us to her. We got to know each other better, and she invited us to youth group. But all I could think about was my negative church experience, experience, and I wasn't very enthused by the whole idea, so I didn't go. But when Corey and Katie told me how much fun it was and how nice the people were, I figured it might be fun, also considering I knew a couple people. So after a couple weeks of them asking me, I went. And it turned out to be one of the best experiences of my life. I finally came to church because I wanted to which I thought was almost impossible. <laughs> so I was a regular at youth group in church for a while, and with all your help and donations, we made it to the Tsunami Conference in Long Beach. Long Beach. That was the best church experience I have ever had. We took two classes each day, and we learned how to become stronger Christians. On the last night of the conference, the pastor asked everyone who wanted to accept God or rededicate their lives to Jesus to go up to the front of the stage. Most of our youth group went up there. For me, I was rededicating my life to God. And after everyone got to the stage, we got in our group and we all held hands and Angela prayed for us. I had, that wasn't the first time I had felt the presence of God, but it was certainly the most powerful and the most overwhelming. Not too long after the conference, Corey, Amber, and I all got baptized. We showed our faith. And now I'm more open to God. I'll pray to him about the problems I'm having. And without God, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Without God, Jessica wanted to have asked us to come with her to youth group. And without God and the influence from Angela, I wanted to have gone and rededicated my life to God that night. God has definitely changed my life for the better. I have been trying to be a better person. And I have gotten to know so many wonderful people, and those influences have helped me to grow in my faith. Don't get me wrong, my life isn't perfect now because I rededicated my life to Christ. I still struggle with a lot of things that are going, in, going on in my life. My sister is overseas, fighting for our country. My grandma is fighting cancer, and my grandpa just had a stroke. My life definitely isn't perfect, but I do know that God has blessed my life in many ways. I know that there are people out there with problems way worse than mine. The way I see it is, God has a plan for every person. Everything happens for a reason, and no matter what happens, God will be there for me, my family, and friends. Thank you. Thank you.